Our first guest this morning is Mark Trotter. He's the director of the Spar Planetarium. Thank you for being here this morning, well, Mark. Thank you for having me this morning. Yeah, this seems to be a good year in Shreveport for outer space since uh -huh. NASA's coming in to visit Definitely. and bringing a, a big exhibit, and that's a nice tie-in for you. Mm -hmm. But I think a lot of people don't realize what's available to them all year round right here at the planetarium. Maybe they don't even know about it. Why don't you first of all tell us where the planetarium is? Okay, the planetarium's on the Louisiana State Fairground, and everyone knows where that is, of course. Right across the street from Fairground Field, which everyone knows. Mm -hmm. uh, the planetarium, most people think, would have a, a dome on top of it, but actually it's a rectangular building. The dome's hidden inside, but we project uh, the stars on the planetarium dome. Uh, the planetarium was built back in 1964. The equipment still works most of the time, and we have shows really almost every day of the week. Well, tell us exactly what it is that's available over there. What's in the planetarium okay. that people can see? At the moment, the show we're running at the moment uh, concerns the night sky, basic astronomy. In other words, if you come to the planetarium, we'll be able to show you where objects are in the sky, uh, constellations, planets, galaxies, whatever. And in fact, on Friday nights at 7 p.m., we run that show. It's about a 30-minute long show called The Sky Tonight. And after the show, if the weather permits, we take a large telescope outside and let people see some of those objects with their own eyes. Uh, other times, we run shows, uh, classes on astronomy. We have a uh, workshop on December 9th to show people how to buy and then use a telescope, hopefully for Christmas, and also get some of those oh. telescopes that people bought during Halley's Comet, get those out of the closet, right. and show them some other things in the sky to see. We have laser light shows starting December 19th, so we'll have some loud rock music for the youngsters in town. So you have uh, entertainment as well as... Entertainment, uh, science, everything in between. What about the classes? Do they need to call you to find out? They need, do need to make reservations for those classes. The astronomy classes start in January, but that one night class we have in using a telescope, again, December night, just call the planetarium at 635-1842, and we'll be glad to give you the information about those shows. Okay, is there a fee for them? Fee. Uh, the public shows are $2 per person, dollar for children. Uh, however, we do run shows for school groups, field trips during the weekdays, free of charge, completely. So and you, you that's the children. more most popular show, I guess, is the little children coming out, third and fourth graders coming out and learning about the sky. And, and it's very fascinating in the planetarium, seeing it under the planetarium sky. You don't have to worry about the clouds like we have above us right now. That's wonderful. Right, because even if the sky is not clear, that's right. they can see outer space even on a rainy day that's there, right. when we it's can, cold. We can take them back in time or far in the future. We can take them not only show them the sky from Shreveport, but from the North Pole or the equator. So a lot of people might not be familiar with what a planetarium show is exactly. It is projected Projected onto, onto a hemispherical screen. It's nothing more than a movie screen, dome-shaped, and the star projector's in the center of the room, so it actually looks like you're outside at night, except mm -hmm. we have the advantage of speeding up time or reversing time and showing you things that you could not possibly see uh, except in a spacecraft. Oh, wonderful. We have some pictures this morning. Have That's we been right. showing them? Because I can't no, see the monitor. Have. Let's oh. look at some of the pictures and see what we have to let you see what's available. Mark can't see the monitor either, so he doesn't know how to tell you what this is. <laughs> Let's right. pull it over there and let oh, him see. Oh, yeah. That's, uh, that, that's a very nice nebula, a gas cloud in space called the Crab Nebula. It's one of the things we talk about in the show uh, that we're running this weekend. Uh, fascinating history. Chinese astronomers actually saw a star explode in the year 1054, over a thousand years ago, this is what it looks like today. Okay. And we have uh, another photograph. A very, this is the most beautiful gas cloud in space. Doesn't seem like a gas oh. cloud would be beautiful, but this is it called is. the Great <laughs> Nebula and Orion. Uh, the other photograph was a uh, image of uh, a star exploding. That was a, a photograph of stars being formed. Of course, this is our old friend, Jolly Jupiter, out in space, taken by the Voyager spacecraft. We're running a show called Voyager Beyond the Planet starting December the 1st in conjunction with uh, Christmas in the Sky and uh, Close Encounters with NASA at the museum. This Excited is wonderful. This is, and also the Independence Bowl is dedicated to NASA this year. That's right. <laughs> everything, everything is space this so year. We had Halley's Comet at the beginning of the year, and now we've got NASA coming into town, so it's looking up. Astronomy always is looking up. Always so. looking. A little oh, pun there. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, only the, the staff members are allowed to make really bad oh. puns on the show. I forgot to tell you. I'll, I'll write that down. <laughs> thank you so much, okay, Mark Trotter, you. for being here and telling us about what's available at the planetarium. And we hope you'll all take advantage of that soon. Right now, let's take advantage of a commercial break.